Hello everyone, Kree here, bringing you back in the Kimmel top lane. And today, auto Q2 disengage. Nice, really good trade. We are against a Riven. And the runes we are currently going into this mad girl are... Pop both potions here. It's crazy. <laughs> it's actually a pretty spicy uh, early game here. I think she hits level 2 first though. Now we're both too. If I eat flash, I'm pretty sure I win here. Uh, runes are gonna go on Grassy and Dying, Demolish, Bone Plating, Overgrowth, Visit Delivery, and uh, Magical Footwear. So, pretty spicy early game if I do say so myself. Riven is a pretty volatile matchup. Oh, you're dead here. Oh, that still knocks me up? No way. That kind of sucks. Because if she doesn't knock me up there, I get my auto off, then I flash, get the Q2, and then I just kill her. Good shield on her part. I'm not sure if she... I could have sworn I saw something in the corner of my eye, but I guess not. But we are looking pretty good. Auto Q. Nice. First blood just like that. Pretty strong if I do say so myself. She is going to TP back here immediately as she should. If she does it, she's just wasting time. Because, yeah, I shouldn't be allowed to just stick around after that. So good job on her part. So, as you see, to the bottom right, we got the subscriber goal. If I do hit 100 subs on Twitch, I will buy a face cam early. Otherwise, I'll buy a face cam when I want to. Second, you know, we got Twitch chat to the left. And then to the top, we have things up there. But people are normally chill. They just like to lurk. <laughs> and I'm perfectly okay with that. But anyways, um, River matchup, it's not bad. I will say that. It's a definitely, like I said before, it's a volatile matchup. It generally, generally what I mean by that is whoever gets the first lead, it just spirals out of control afterwards. If Riven happens to get the kill on me, then lane's pretty much over for Camille just because Riven, she's a champion that snowballs really hard. She goes, she goes crazy. That's simple as that. She just simply goes crazy. She has a lot of outright damage level one. But the thing is with your Q, you actually can't combat her. But once she's past level one, she just has a lot of raw damage, like I said. So you do have to somehow keep up with that by not dying or getting an early kill on her. You should pick that up. Nice. Good job. Really good job on the graves. I like how you picked for assistance, but don't worry, bro. Riven isn't going to walk up. But uh, yeah, if you do happen to get the lead into Riven, keep in mind that she can still kill you. QQ again, disengage. She can still kill you very easily. She is still Riven. Despite you getting Triforce early, if she just has a bit of AD, she's dead. W slow. I just queued a minion. Auto Q2. Oh. She thought she could flash my Q2. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. But yeah. Even if you have Triforce, if she just has a Caulfield's Warhammer and a Longsword, she can still 100-0 you with her ultimate. So do be careful and mindful of that. Really good job on Graves that they're just sitting around. That was actually bad on Riven's part. Just because we obviously know that Graves just invaded and killed my Olaf. So she definitely should be a little bit more passive. The thing is, though, I get it. She had a really good she had a really good opportunity to actually go for me there, which is why she actually went for it. Because I was on cooldowns after I went for a short trade on her. So it was probably the best time she could look for a kill on me. But because of my Graves' existence, she's obviously not going to get that early kill on me. Anyways, we are going to, you know, get the little bit of minions back off here. And I will TP back to top lane. Unfortunately, my ball lane happens to give Kaisa a double kill when we're doing so good. But that's just how it is. Nice. Why did you come back? I don't even know what that means. But buy this into another longsword. Just buying as much AD as I possibly can so I can keep up with Riven's damage. You can get early armor if you want. I do have double armor into my runes. We're sitting at 59, which is pretty nice. But I mainly got it just because in case Olaf ganks me, uh, the armor will actually prove to be very useful, right? Let's see. This guy's doing good, though. He finds him in the jungle. Nautilus happens to be here. He one-shots him. Good job. Drop a ward ITP. Ward ITP. Oh, he doesn't have a ward. If one of them, if one of them drops a ward ITP, but they don't need the ward because they pick up the kill. Good job. And he actually did drop a ward for me anyways. He actually paid attention to the chat. I like that. Good job. Jolly good stuff. So what you want to do is you want to go for your W on her. Auto Q2. Because I took a turret shot, the trade looks bad. That's honestly a really good trade for me, but I took a turret shot, so it makes it even for her. That was perfect, too, because I predicted her, her Q2 when she dashed downwards, but I just took an extra turret shot. So we are going to pick this up over here just so we can heal a bit more. And honestly, remember, she does have her ultimate, so now she can 100-0 on me. Her ultimate has execute damage, and it just does so much. So we just got to keep that in mind. And now, the comic question of the day. 
And now I did stall as long as I can because I have yet to think of one. That's what she wants to do. Oh. Nice. We got her ultimate. That's so good. That's what Riven wants to do every single time, by the way. Anytime you go for a W, you actually open Riven to engage on you. So do keep that in mind. Because going for a W to the Riven is actually really bad. She wasn't doing it at first. She was eating away every single time. But now she's going towards me with her shield every single time. So I can't go for those Ws anymore. Which means I'm going to stop. And that's how the time the W E immediately backwards so I can catch her. You know? But it's pretty bad. Auto Q2. This cannon minion is struggling. But comment question of the day. What do I want to say? What do I want to say? Q2. Missed that minion. I'm only down by 9 farm. Not the end of the world. I will shove this wave out. So I have enough gold for my phage. And we should be nice and dandy. Besides, I can just, with Tiamat, it's very easy for me to shove waves. Unfortunately, she is playing Riven. She will, get back, she will get back to lane in time, but not much I can obviously do about that, right? By this, we'll pick up an early Cloth Armor. She does have a lot of damage, as you clearly see. So, I do have to pick this up. How's it going, mid lane? She seems to be doing alright. She's actually behind the farm. Bot lane, Jin is kind of trolling. Feels a, feels, feels a little bit bad. Not too bad, but it does feel pretty bad. Kaisa should have a shutdown. Yup, I do have TP and I am looking for it. I just need them to engage, as simple as that. And by them, I don't mean my bot. Well, my bot lane, yeah. But if Nautilus happens to engage, then... TP now. See what I mean? Like, he engaged for me, so now I can do this. Uh... There's an Olaf here, unfortunately. And that just it makes things bad. Her, her, her. Nice! Let's go! Good job, Pike! Amazing hook onto the Kaiser there. Gives us the kill. That's actually so huge. Pike, I love you, baby. That was actually amazing. That was truly amazing. You lived at 1 HP? Indeed I did. I can't undo for some reason. I guess because I got my I got my magical footwear. And I'm slot locked, which kind of sucks. And I don't want to wait around because I'll be wasting too many minions. So I'm just going to go like this. Pick up a Sapphire Crystal. Because look how many minions I'm missing right now off that TP. That TP does pick up the shutdown. does give Graze ahead. And we actually happen to get a kill on Victor Minus. So good job. I am behind an XP, obviously, just because I have missed quite a bit. And I have been, you know, around the map, as you can clearly see. And Graves has soaked up XP from me as well. It's not the end of the world. Being a level under your enemies, you're really not the end of the world. Now I want to have so much gold compared to her. She did pick up three plannings, though, so I think we're actually even on gold. But the thing is about this is that with my Graves ahead... And with me being 3 and 1, that's going to give my Graves incentive to come top in because it should be an easy gank, right? So something actually does happen to come up with this. Most of us I go Arcane Comet. Uh, I only go Arcane Comet, well, I used to only go Arcane Comet to Teemo, but now I actually just don't pick it up at all. Just because I don't see Teemo anymore. I will pick up a gank over here, though. I'm going to ping him once. If he does have to decide to come, he decides to come. If he doesn't, then he doesn't. It's that simple. Uh, she's going Essence Reaver. That's actually very strong and not much I can really do about that. If she ever crits me with Essence Reaver, I'm just fucked. She's doing that into my shield. Q2. Auto for Grass Proc. Disengage. Really good trade for us right there. Amazing good trade for us. The wave's gonna keep pushing out towards us. We're in a really good spot right now. Oh, it looks like they might be getting Drake. The thing is about it is that they just have lane prior ballin that we can't get Drake ourselves. She just ulted. See, I queued a minion. That way I get movement seat so I can just disengage. Dodge that. She might just get out. I don't have E to lock her down. Slowed her. Oh, her Q fell off because I slowed her. Nice. It's all you, Graves. Ah, she gets out. Oh, he's actually still chasing. He has red buff slow. Oh, he's missed. Just auto tech, dude. You don't need to go for your E. Or your Q. Chilling Smite. I mean, Challenging Smite gives him Nimbus Cloak, and that shouldn't be the kill. Good job, brother. We can get first turret. Can first turret. Top. Nice. He actually listened to me. Nice. Really huge. Alright, he's coming over here. Auto Q2. So what you simply want to do is you just want to get this at 2.5 in HE by the time you use Herald. And then Herald should one-shot it. Q2 E away here. Nice. And then we just auto it. So just like that, we're going to have Phage on our back. Not Phage, Sheen. And 
Tabby. If you're going against Timo to go Arcane Comet, yes. Buy this, buy Tabby into a dagger. Looking pretty strong right now. Actually, really strong right now. She's still level ahead of me, obviously, because Graves has been sharing XP with me. You obviously see that happening, but it's perfectly fine. Like I said, because as long as I outperform Riven in team fights and in the silent, if I ever want to be one her, we are perfectly fine. Bot lane, I would love to roam down there, but obviously Riven is gonna shut this out, and I don't have TP to actually answer if she tries to get it to turret. If she tries to take the turret, so I just gotta run all the way back up here. Yeah, he has to flash there, otherwise he's dead. Yeah, <laughs> they all have to flash. Uh, Riven might be roaming here. Got to thing it for my girl. And now we are gonna shove this up because obviously we don't see Riven here. And waiting for my Q though, so I don't mess up. Q2 and Tama. Now we're gonna run straight through mid lane here. See if we can make a pick on this Victor. If Graves doesn't want to walk with me, will ping on my way. Will ping. I do have. Will ping at my ultimate. And Graves seems to be up to the task. Nice. This guy's literally two levels ahead. Just cause you know he's taxing me and all that good stuff. He's able to gank me. Press R so he doesn't go anywhere. Walk past that so I don't get stunned. Auto once more. Walk away. Do I step out? Woo! We step out in time. We got it far enough away from his body. Wow, Victor. You do damage, buddy. Yeah, he finishes. He finishes hex core. That was so much damage. I took turret shots too. That was scary. Anyways, let's keep it moving. So, by the way, I do record my videos live, and if you do want to be able to happen to catch that, well, obviously, twitch.tv slash Kree654. Let me restart. Twitch.tv slash Kree654. It's that simple. Or you can click the link that's in the description below, which leads to my Twitch. Or you can join my Discord server, and in my Discord server, I do announcements when I go live, too. And then you just click the link there. It's crazy, right? Uh, I was hoping I could dodge that. With her conquer up, we definitely want to fight her. She just crit there. By the way, I just realized she has Essence here, so she crits me. Any given moment, with her passive auto up, it just does the same amount of damage. That's the only thing that sucks about crit ribbon now. I mean, I think it's the best ribbon build now anyways. Which sucks to go against, but it just is what it is. Auto TM at. Auto that. Nice. Not bad. So how's it going down here, guys? You guys, you guys doing good? Yes, they are. They should be able to pick up that turret soon, too. And we're getting very close to Trade Force here. And for those that just came into my live stream, I'm currently recording a video. So if I don't respond to chat too often, that's, li that's literally why. Because <laughs> I'm recording a video for my YouTube right now. Auto Q Tiamat. Auto Q2. Level 10 now. She should have level 11 soon. Doesn't matter to me though. We're very close to Triforce, just 80 more gold off. If Graves does want to come top lane again, he can, but we definitely want to fight for this Drake this time. And I will have Drake for it. Q2W, W wasn't up, never mind. Shove this out, and then back with Trinity Force. Relax, Jesus. I understand that I smoked you in lane alongside my Graves, but relax, it's not that serious, please. So Trinity Force has been accomplished, we're gonna buy the control word as well, it just makes sense. Vision control around the Drax, that is definitely what you need. And nice pick! Kinda sucks that we had to use Zara ultimate for it, cause now we don't have it for Drake, but it's a 5v4 now, so I'm pretty sure we still win. Victor does flash, we still got this guy's ultimate too. Or he just used it. What is- is that bugged? Yeah, I guess it's bugged for me. Don't mind if I do. And let's start this. Uh, Olaf might try to do something cheeky. Graves. Oh my god, he scared me. <laughs> Graves literally walked away from the Drake, and I thought he just wasn't gonna smite it. Oh my god. Yeah, not much is gonna happen. I don't have my ultimate. Oh, he hits it though. Chunked him half HP. Nice. That was so scary. I'm so surprised that Graves literally just walked away from the dragon. That gave me a heart attack. Tried Q2ing it, but Pike gave it to me anyways. Thank you. Let's shove this eye. Hello, Tony. Oh, I trolled. Huh. I didn't expect him to react instantly there. I was hoping that my E would actually hit. I get the Q2, use the move speed to get out. But, that's fine. Let's just back here, go topside. 
reset my HP value because if I don't, Riven can just jump on me with their flash. And we are just gonna go straight towards a Ravenous Hydra just because it's the cheapest item we can get towards our next power spike. If I was really far ahead, I'd just opt to go for a Death Stance just because Death Stance is extremely good into Riven. She's a champion all about burst, right? Zyra, nice one shot onto the Kai'Sa. That's what I like to see. And we'll be back on our merry way top lane, right? Unfortunately, this wave is getting pushed out, but Riven should be up here shortly to shove this on herself. I think she's going Death Stance next. She bought another Caulfield's Warhammer. I'm not sure what else she would buy with this. I guess maybe Yomu's Ghost Blade. I'm not entirely sure. It should be a Death Stance, though. Auto Q2. Could go top lane if he wants to. All up to him. Though he might just back, if I'm being honest. Can't catch up to him, unfortunately. Up in eight seconds. Thing is, I can't lead. I don't have my Iki. I just jump on her. So it's just bad. Uh, there's three people here. Nice one shot. Step back. Going on to Kaisa. Now this flash over. I'm dead. That's Kaisa flash as well. Yeah. That's pretty unfortunate. It was a 4v2. We still able to go one for one there. We are going to get more than that too. Nice, Zyraru into the Graves E. Nice. Following it up. Now let's try to kill It's not going to matter. Pike with the E. The last auto attack finishes it off. And we're now going to be summoning Harold to win this game. Good stuff. Good stuff, team. That's what I like to see. Simply just outperforming Ribbon. That is my job the entirety of this game. And I'm happy I played it to succession. Really good stuff. And now, I would TP if I needed to, but I don't have to yet. Harold does not get the job done, unfortunately, but that's just how it is. Don't know where my team is pathing. I'm just going to pay attention to them first. If they're all going to path towards mid lane, I definitely want to go straight to bot lane, which it looks like that is the case. Now nah, they're all recalling. All right. I'll pick up this midway first, then. Just because it's closer to me, I want to walk over here first. Shove that out. I'm going straight to bottom because I do have TP and Baron is coming up. We can easily do it since our team is so far ahead at this given moment. This is extremely good for us. Olaf is right here. Start moving downwards. Kais is on the drag and she actually got off of Drake. I mean, red buff. She was on the red buff. She got off it. I'm kind of confused here. She's walking down here the aggressive way, just because her Nautilus is behind her. Literally, only reason, if Nautilus was not there, I'd simply just jump on her. Oh, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was looking at Twitch to hello, Remus. This is Ward if someone wants to get that. Yes, Graves, you got it. She's just dead, overextended. Jesus, your ult was not needed. She was 2 HP. But I guess it's a lot short enough to the point where you're okay with using it. It wasn't needed, my beautiful, beautiful Zyra, but you got it. Like, imagine if you had her ultimate for this play. It looked a lot cleaner. I can't just jump in there yet. I gotta let my bat light, bat light do the job first. And now I can go in here. Q2. Nice. Good job. Like I said, I gotta play the fight slow first, because if I go in immediately, I will just get one shot. The flash over the Q. The Pike misses the Q. Doesn't charge it long enough. Graves, one more auto attack. It's not going to be enough, because the minions are in the way, and he doesn't want to get stunned. That is such a feels bad, man. Damn, you know how to talk. Are you an extrovert? I am not an extrovert. I wish. Riven, you're trolling. Ravnus Hydra, accomplished. We're looking pretty good. I have 50% KP, practically. So this game should end shortly. I sound like a caster, honestly. In another life, I probably would be a caster. I, I don't know. I, I like I like being like this. And let's keep moving. Never mind. Go back. Pick up a control ward. By the way, can one of you guys give me a comment question of the day? So I can just edit it in? Because I obviously did not think of mine. <laughs> I need a comment question of the day for the YouTube videos. Know how to keep a conversation going? That's not true at all. I am actually very, very, very bad. I'm very bad at actually keeping a conversation going in real life. I mean, I try to, but 
I just think I'm boring in real life. Like, you know, in a one-on-one. -on -one. With friends, I go crazy. <laughs> With friends, I simply just go crazy. Most annoying champ in the game? I've kind of already done that. I've said, what's your least favorite champion? That's kind of, kind of goes about annoying, I'd say. I've done favorite champion, favorite type of food, ice cream flavor, uh, savory sweets. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I've done color, but I think color is like too, too garbage. <laughs> I've done favorite skin. You know what? I think I'll do. What do you think is the most impactful role? Because it's definitely jungle and mid. Mid has more impact than this jungle, I'd say. Or vice versa, and then it turns it to support bot lane and top. Um, I don't TP yet. My team's still perfectly fine. I just keep going for this, so I go for. I look for a flank right about here now. Nice hit, dude. <laughs> nice hit. You made it so I didn't jump on Olaf. Good job. Yeah, I think I'll do. I think I'll do. Uh, what people think is the most impactful role. Oh, literally perma CC. <laughs> Could not move for the life of me, Jesus. Can I get a Q2, Olaf? Oh, uh, you're not. You actually gave it to me when you went for that E key. Whatever, let's pick this up. Try to lifesteal back up, secure cannon minions, and move on our merry way. Be a little bit careful, drop Q, back off now. We can go for Baron next now. I don't know TP. Go straight. That's TP. Well, it looks like our boy Pike is dead. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, where do I TP to? TP over here. I don't have any. I don't have a ward. Ah, there was a ward inside their team. But I just didn't notice it. I also had a flank ward all the way back here. Yeah, how's it going, brother? Q2 her. She crit me there. Step out so I don't take too much damage. Hit the E. Hit the W. Nice. Good job, Jin. That's what I like to see, and I think we just end the game here. Off that little skirmish of Pike getting caught. Seems bringing that over. I like that. And that should just be the end of the game. Oh, God. Help me. <laughs> Yo, no, let's relax, please. Life's still back to full HP here. And that's me in the game. So, TJO played. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe to see you guys in the next video. Peace!